The Wii U is a 2012 console now. It's getting old. But how does it manage to hold up in 2023? Let's find out. My daily Wii U, a Japanese Wii U actually, came in its box and, well, now it's been homebrewed. Originally a Japanese console, now we can play all sorts of games. And that's one of the biggest selling points now of the Wii U in 2023, making some cheap consoles become a lot more usable. Homebrew gives the ability for a lot of different things, making the Wii U more accessible. Nintendo, a GameCube loader, is one of the most lovely things to have on the game on the game console that is the Wii U. But why should you pick up a Wii U in 2023 anyways? After all, it's over a decade old. It may seem like every Wii U game has been ported to the Switch and has been added features. It seems like due to the fact that most Wii U games have gone to the Switch, such as Mario Kart 8 and other games, ahem, ahem, <laughs> like Captain Toad Treasure Tracker and New Super Mario Bros. U and Luigi U, you'd think there'd be no reason to pick up this lovely console. But, you're kind of wrong. See, the Wii U still has a decent library stuck to its name, where you can actually find somewhat cheaper versions that you can find on the Switch. Splatoon here only really costs about 25 Canadian bucks, and Mario Maker is around that too. Or you could even find them cheaper, which makes it a wonderful experience for a younger child or even someone looking into finding or playing some of these games because remember some people still don't have a switch it's only it's sold a lot of units sure but it doesn't mean everyone has one the wii u offers a big library well not really big but still a lovely library with a bunch of first party games that actually have a wonderful feeling to them such as this game Spot Pass is a wonderful feature. No, I do not. <laughs> um, fact is, like this game, yeah, sure, it might be on the Switch, but it doesn't mean it don't deserve love on the Wii U. One of the wonderful features of the Wii U is the ability to become region-free, which is what my Wii U is, which can play English and Japanese games, among others while also being able to play English and Japanese Wii games, and you can use Nintendo to play filed versions of these GameCube games, which literally makes you be able to play three generations of Nintendo. Plus, you can also get RetroArch for the system, which makes you able to play Super N Nintendo, this is Super Famicom, <laughs> uh, NES, and others. Uh, ahem, ahem, we're gonna act like these are N N64 cartridges for a minute. And N64, because <laughs> I don't have any. Yeah. Uh, Minecraft, Skylanders, Sonic, Smash for the Wii U, Yoshi's Woolly World. What lovely games. Even Captain Toad, Donkey Kong. Yeah, sure, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse hasn't came over yet. That's a, literally an exclusive. And this game apparently did not sell very well and is one of the and this system is literally so big on these mario and sonic games just like the wii before it another amazing feature of the wii u is homebrew this is demonstrating the wii's homebrew in v wii which enables me to play wii backups and 64 backups gamecube also allows me to play region free games and others however we haven't even mentioned the wii u side of things being able to well use different apps load wii u games off of devices and also be able to add games with this i don't know how to pronounce that <laughs> j 
just increases the ability of this thing. While I am not suggesting you to do this, of course you can, and I'm not going to stop you doing it. It's just not my fault. Uh, literally, you could just download games using this app. Or you could download other software, but remember, this is up to you and at your own risk. This isn't up to me. The Wii U came in two different models, this being the Wii U white model. While most people may be saying this is the basic model, actually there was a version in Japan where the white one was actually the deluxe version. This is 32 gigabytes. Um, and I got this for $130 Canadian. An amazing deal for these Wii U's. While if you're looking for North American Wii U's, they can usually fetch you up to 200 bucks. And plus the library is starting to go up due to the fact that uh, the eShop is closing. For some games, most games are still around the $20 price, which is still an amazing deal for these games. After all, you'd probably have to pay up to 70 or more bucks just for the Switch version, meaning this thing still deserves some love in your home. You could also buy uh, a 32 gigabyte deluxe version in black for North American people, or you could buy a certified refurbished version that's white for 32 but I got a Japanese one, so I got it a lot cheaper. I also got it with Mario Maker you saw downloaded on this thing. While 32 is still not enough, you're going to possibly be uh, using the SD and the USB ports on this thing. Because after all, 32 isn't very much. But these games don't really need those big of updates and... It also doesn't really expect you to download Wii U or Wii games off of this thing. The Wii games aren't really that big anyways, so it's perfectly fine. If you're looking for a storage device for your Wii U, I'd recommend personally a full-sized or micro SD card and an adapter, typically 64 gigabytes or more, due to the fact that, you know, if you actually want to put some homebrew stuff on this, you're going to want that big of a size. If you're going to be downloading a lot of Wii U games, however, you're going to be wanting 128 gigabytes or more. Just saying. It's, you know, it may seem expensive with all of those things added on, but in reality, it's still a good price. And it's still cheaper than a Switch. Now, I always hear people complaining about this thing, the Wii U gamepad. However, if you like the Switch's grip, you'll typically like this thing due to its comfortable abilities and fact is it has all the tech or more that the Switch does, including its special TV control uh, option, which is honestly really cool. As you can tell, I really use the thing. I love it. <laughs> it also has, you know, your typical Amiibo scanners, not in your thumbsticks. It also has a camera. Uh, sensor bar built in for Wii uh, mode. It also has gyroscope, other things like that. It's honestly a pretty amazing piece of technology. However, uh, don't fall victim to those eBay listings with just this or with just this because both you need. So buy both, please. Like, seriously, if you're looking for one, you gotta buy the other. And make sure the gamepad adapters, uh, the gamepad adapter comes with this, and the adapter comes with this. Because, you know, HDMI, which this thing does use HDMI, by the way. Um, you know, like, fact is, you know, you're gonna want that, because this thing doesn't have the best battery life, and I will warn you of that. Um, but this thing is actually pretty decent on power. And you can also set the power or say settings for just an hour. So it's really good enough for what you're going to want it for. However, while this thing does have support from three different Nintendo consoles, GameCube, Wii, and Wii U, or more, you could really say NES, SNES, and N64 included. Plus, you could probably get other consoles working with this thing as well that are retro. 
Um, fact is, it's not getting any more games anymore. And the most recent game was released in 2020 for the thing. But it still has an amazing library. The Wii has an amazing library. And also, if you have Wii remotes and stuff, you can use the Wii uh, mode. And, you know, it's just an incredible deal if you want to actually give it a chance. Give it a chance. It might actually surprise you. It's really not that bad of a system. It needs love. It sold only 13 million. And fact is, these things might become collectible one day. Give it a chance. So, that's my review of the Wii U. <laughs> White and black. In 2023, this is the deluxe North American uh, version. This would be the basic model here. Besides, if you got a certified refurbished version. But I got lucky because it's Japanese. But, you know, don't be afraid of reaching differences either. You can always homebrew it. So yeah, check out my other content, subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.